Hi folks, this is part of our August 2024 garden tour hosted by Gail Southern Living, hashtag garden tour 2024. Um, so anyhow, I did leap comments and at the end of the month you very well might be a winner of some kind of prize. And we want to start out by showing you this pretty well it you it had been really red now it kind of looks purplish to me but the cosmos um, and we never had a cosmos that color before so anyhow that's the beginning of the tour so do you have any idea what these flowers are huh? yep. they're purple and we got marigolds, which I know what they are, but in the white, does that look white to you? Or, oh, is that a leaf? Yeah. Oh, I felt like it was the cosmos or the Coriopolis. Yeah. Or, but anyhow, they're really pretty. And then, as I said, a bunch of marigolds. And what about the pink? Is that pink? I don't know what color to call that. It's like a salmon color. It's really pretty. And I don't, why can I never tell if I'm getting it or not? There's the, what, Kathy's calling salmon. And there's some more really pretty flower. And then we think we have, oh, that's over here, white milkweed, which we... We have the purple, but then white. You're looking at that peach one up yeah. front. Yeah. And some more. And which, what were you? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Another one. I don't know what to tell you what color it is or what kind of flower it is. Orange, but there's a big pink flower over there. Yeah. Have to go over there. yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Is that some more cosmos? There's a bunch of those down here. I don't know what they are. And there's a nice, skinny, neat looking white flower there. It might be. It'll be easier to get these from the front here. So they say they're like pinkish, reddish type tints. Really pretty. I don't know what kind of flowers. And the hydrangeas. Oh, okay. So that's a hydrangea. I'm not totally sure what kind of, what color you call it. So that's exciting. And then we have some more help. Yeah, I caught my balance. Didn't feel it. I know. Um, what are these, honey? Besides really cool orange flowers. Those are marigolds. Mar huh? These? Yep. That is a form of marigold. I never seen a marigold that looked like that. See, I knew those were marigolds. And then this is an awesome looking flower. That is, that is beautiful. awesome. Beautiful, yes. No ideas of what it is? It's a wildflower. And then we still have this peach colored flower that's just awesome. Poppy. That's yeah, a poppy. And there's some kind of, what is that, hon? That's a yarrow. This? Purple thing? That's yarrow. Oh, when so, it blooms, it's purple. so that's yarrow. All the other yarrow is... Oh, there's some purples over there. Oh, so that's cool. I... Yeah, and apparently the snapdragons will attract the hummingbirds, too. I saw a video with the hummingbirds. 
Yeah. So that's really, I mean, just look at this yard. I mean, Kathy is awesome. God is awesome. God is awesome, yes. But you also, do you know what this is? Uh, right here. This that looks like the Nun So Pretty. Nun So Pretty, Sweet Williams. There's some more of the unidentified purple flowers. Why am I coming? There's Very something I'm. Okay, for this really pretty pink one, which looks sim. No, it doesn't. Never mind. I'm weird. Yeah, doesn't that kind of look like a black-eyed Susan, but pink with green? So it's a pink green-eyed Sally. <laughs> How about that? Eventually, we might find out and let you know what these are. And we have some alyssum and. Marigolds in the cement block with our light. It's growing around our light. I'm not showing you butt. I'm showing the light and the marigolds in the cement block for the crazy, not that we were part of this, but there's a crazy planter for you. Oh, she's going to take me out with weeds. So. We are harvesting our cucumber. Oh, I never seen a yellow cucumber before. Oh, and we got a couple more going here. Soon we'll be able to harvest them. We have a sunflower back here too. Now, harvesting some snap peas. This, the snap peas are probably what's yielded the most for us this year, huh? How do you know which to pick and which to leave? Well, like some are flat like the pea kind of developed that mm. and the healthy ones are. See like this one's flat? Yeah, that one's puffy. And the one behind it looks puffy too. There are quite a few snap peas. I really do think that's what harvest yielded the most for us this year, don't you? Show them the inside of the bee. Our harvest so far. Well, <laughs> for today. Want to show the coxcomb. It, it's really got grown even more, the, the thingy there. So, we're actually 
harvesting. See, what are you doing? She is chewing the stem of our um, Coryopsis. And Kathy is harvesting seeds from our Coryopsis. So I figured that it'd be part of our August um, thing. Look at all the seeds. We had even more plants out there that are can be harvested. So plenty of Coryopsis seeds. So our hydrangeas bloomed. Wanted to show you those. And then we have a beautiful peach zinnia, which I wanted to show you. And this is really another pretty red. So we have a pretty purple cornflower and then that pretty red flower is a species of flax. We had the blue flax earlier and we're going to have a hollyhock bloom here. Hopefully we'll show you that in the August, in, well this is the August video, but later in the August video. And I think I've already shown you the different types of marigolds we have bloomed. And then up here, geez, the morning glory is bloomed. The one's already closing up, the purplish one, and then we got a white and pink one. Which I didn't realize that they had different color flowers on the same stem. That's not the same. Color. It isn't? It's a thinner twine. Oh. oh well. But anyhow, I wanted to show you the pretty good morning glories. So we got some nice pink cone flowers in our thing now. We're getting more sunflowers out here. And then the ones over here, and some of them now are already dying and some got stolen by the squirrel and there's our coreopsis then we got cosmos and another really pretty flower here we're not totally sure what that is. We'll probably tell you later when we find out. But, and then there's Cosmos over there. It's really pretty. I like that dark maroon, would you say? Or purple? Or... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's cool. So Mrs. is picking some blackberries out of the berry thing. Oh, geez. There's a Big Rose of Sharon in your berry patch. And I am going to come over and show you some cucumber plants that turned into sunflowers. Here's one. And that one there was supposed to be a cucumber and it's a sunflower. And then we have some more over here. They were supposed to be cucumbers and their sunflowers. Mrs. is not quite sure what what she did. But and I wanted to show you we got some more blooms. We got a blue bloom with looks like dark purplish on our morning glory and then a totally white morning glory. So I had to show you those also. So this is crimson clover that we got going in here and a Chinese something. Aster. Chinese aster. And then so here's the pretty flower that we showed you before and we weren't sure what it is. It is called a Chinese zinnia. So and I want to show you there is, oh, and it just, 
Oh, you silly thing. I wanted to get you on film. There we go. Likes this flower. There's a very small butterfly on that flower, and I don't know what kind of butterfly it is. Just giving you a span of part of the garden. It's in the very front now. How beautiful it's turned out. Orange and pink now. And this I think is cool too with the it looks like little yellow flowers within the flower in the center of it. What is it? Broke. Oh, yeah, I I like that one too. It looks like the same. That looks like cosmos. Cosmos, and I think Mrs. Traveler deserves a round of applause. So everybody, give her a bravo and applause. Oh, there's some marigolds down in there. Well, plenty if there's some there. Well, yeah, a monarch on the. Zinnia there, if I can get it, eh, it flew away. Okay, had to show you this neat little purple flower that's in our garden. Not sure what it is or what these pink flowers are, but wanted to show them to you. Our impatience are still doing, impatience is really still doing well. I want to show you how many marigolds now are in the yard. And there's the bee. So that's doing well. Got some neat little yellow flowers. The bumblebee was really getting in there, enjoying that flower there. And some new blue flowers. Got some yellow beans. Yeah, I think maybe it'll be easier if I do it. But yellow beans coming. They're almost ready to be harvested. And Yep, we got green beans coming. They'll soon be harvested. So I don't think I've shown the calico aster yet, or I've told you that I have no clue what it is. So this is a calico aster. Our carrots are going crazy. We do so well with the carrots, which is good. We need to make some of that carrot top pesto which if you look in our cooking playlist you'll be able to find it's called a uh, harvest to table or something like that and we got some peppers coming yippee now are they green going to be green peppers or are they another color pepper they're green peppers but they turn other colors as they ripen Oh, peppers. These are the mystery pea. <laughs> we, the mystery pea plant has taken off, but no peas yet. And there's another sunflower. We got sunflowers all over the place. So we have a white morning glory, a pink morning glory, and a blue morning glory. Is a mega sunflower almost as tall as our house so we have some violas in the uh, cactus and with the cactus now which I don't know if a bird seeded them or the wind or what but that was not the pot they were in or, well, yeah. So they must have been from seeds. And we got a 
bloom on our shamrock. And we're harvesting some beans. We got beans in other spots too to be harvested. Unfortunately, the giant sunflower that was over here that we showed you and was getting close to blooming got taken down by the storms. And that was the only giant one we had come up this year, so it unfortunately um, is not happening. But we do have another sunflower over here. And with that, I want to remind you that this was part of August Garden Tour 2024, hosted by Gail Southern Living. And if you leave comments on all the um, videos, you have a very good chance of winning a prize. At she picks at the beginning of the, well, it'll be September that she picks it. And I also want you to know that if you have to use raised garden beds or pots to make it easier for you to garden, or canes, wheelchairs, whatever it is to help you do what you like to do and live life to its fullest, it is not making you handicapped. It's making you handy capable. Thank you all for joining us. Remember to comment. And you all have a great day. God bless.